Welcome back. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about solar astrology and the 12 zodiac signs. Before we start, remember to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any updates and to like and share. Click the link to download your free guide, your essential guide to solar astrology, and that will really help you to understand solar astrology a little bit better. And you can read about the 12 zodiac signs and their soul-centered meanings in more depth in my book, Soul Astrology, how your rising sign reveals your soul path and life purpose. Okay, so let's begin. Every sign has a lower fear-based expression and a higher love-based expression. And so when we're talking about our highest light, our soul light, we're talking about the highest expression of that sign and we'll say a little bit more about that in a moment your soul light shines through the lens of your personality mainly your sun and moon signs esoteric astrology tells us that your soul begins its journey as a point of light in the mind of god in aries and journeys through all 12 zodiac signs right through to Pisces, and spends up to eight lifetimes in each sign. If you think about all 12 soul signs, that's 80 for our lifetimes. If you've had your birth chart drawn up, you can even tell how far into each sign you are. There are 30 degrees in each sign. So if your rising sign is at about 15 degrees, or before, then you're coming up to halfway through your soul's journey into that sign. If it's between 15 degrees and 30 degrees, then you're past halfway, you're moving towards the end of your soul's experience in that particular sign. So let's have a look briefly through the 12 signs. And remember in my book, Soul Astrology, how your rising sign reveals your soul path and life purpose. You can read about the soul meaning of the 12 signs in much more depth. So the soul begins its journey as a point of light in the mind of God in Aries. So think about that. So Aries is associated with that very, very first spark of life, that first spark of an idea. And so the very highest soul purpose of Aries is to actually inspire others with divine ideas. The word inspire comes from in spirit. It's often said that Aries is the sign that's closest to God because the spark hasn't left God's mind yet to go out on its journey. And then if we move to Taurus, that spark of light becomes a beam of light projecting outward, beginning its journey into form. The soul is beginning its journey into form in Taurus, the first earth sign. And the sign of Taurus is associated with illumination. The Buddha became enlightened, was born, became enlightened, and passed into, what do you say, Parinirvana, in the sign of Taurus. So it's the highest vibration of Taurus is associated with illumination and specifically bringing the light into form. Very, very sacred sign and associated with the opening of the third eye. And then we move into Gemini, that beam of light that projected outwards in Taurus becomes, fans out and becomes multiple rays of that light. And the highest purpose of Gemini is to move that divine light out into experience and to understand the relationship between different experiences. One of the highest purposes of Gemini is to develop wisdom by understanding different experiences. So it's associated with teaching right relations. Next, we move to Cancer. And cancer is one of the first mysterious signs. Cancer is associated specifically with incarnation. So the light starts to incarnate into form. And one of the highest purposes of 
cancer, anybody with the soul in cancer, is to actually find the inner light within and cultivate light and compassion. And then we move to Leo. Leo is a sign of the heart. In Leo, the individual self begins to awaken, centered in the heart. Leo is the first of the heart-centered signs. So anybody with a Leo soul is here to awaken the heart in themselves and others and to lead by example, to teach heart-centered leadership. And next, the soul moves into Virgo on its journey. And esoterically, Virgo is the sign of the mother and the child. It's in Virgo that we first begin to recognize an individual self and a soul-centered self. So part of the role of the Virgo soul is the synthesis between spirit and matter, spirit and form. On an everyday level, a Virgo soul is like a lightning conductor. Part of what your work is, is to bring that divine energy down into form and anchor it into the earth. Virgo is the second of the earth signs. So being a bit like a cosmic lightning conductor and bringing divine energy down into form and grounding that energy is very important for Virgo, especially a Virgo soul. And next on its journey, the soul arrives at Libra, and Libra souls are here to bring greater degrees of balance and harmony into the earth. And that can be done through many, it can be done through physical form, it can be done through words, language. There are many modalities that a Libra soul can be balancing and harmonizing. It could be with people and politics. It could even be with the earth, working with ecosystems, balancing ecosystems. And a lot of Libra souls say to me, well, my life is off balance. I'm always off balance. Or I'm in a situation where there's a lot of conflict. And that's because it's part of your role to bring the harmony and to bring the balance. And so there'd be no point in you being somewhere that was already harmonious and balanced. Part of your work is to learn greater capacities in increasingly difficult times of how you can bring that harmony and balance into whatever situations you find yourself in. And then that brings us to Scorpio. And Scorpio is a transitional sign. It is almost a turning point when the soul reaches Scorpio. It's quite a challenging to sign. One of the highest vibrations of Scorpio is to transform darkness into light. And that happens by going into the darkest areas of human experience in order to bring the light. Scorpio is the sign of the spiritual warrior. And it's in Scorpio that the final battle happens. In other words, we finally succeed in blending personality and soul. So there's no more separation. Personality and soul become one and the being becomes a fully soul-centered being. And now our soul's journey brings it into Sagittarius, the first of the signs of service, the last four signs of the zodiac, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces, esoterically are called the signs of service because the soul now has some capacity and can bring those capacities and wisdom to be of service in the world. The highest vibration of a Sagittarius soul is to bring higher truth, higher goals and higher wisdom to humanity. And then the soul moves into Capricorn and the highest vibration of Capricorn is to literally build heaven on earth. In the esoteric astrology, it's said that Capricorn is one of the most mysterious signs and difficult to understand. Because on a non-physical level, on an energetic level, a Capricorn soul is an engineer of light. You're building with light. 
and the personality. We can't get our heads around that at the personality level. And so as a Capricorn soul, your whole life's focus is what you can do to build a better world for humanity, to literally build a heaven on earth. And now we come to Aquarius. The highest purpose of Aquarius is to flow love and light, the benefit of humanity. This relates to what in some spiritual traditions is called the path of the Bodhisattva, the capacity to direct your personal energy for the good of all. On a personality level, we just can't do that. We would be drained. So an Aquarius soul is learning how to have that higher capacity to bring that energy in that can be of benefit to humanity. And finally, we arrive at Pisces. And the highest purpose of a Pisces soul is to flow unconditional love and be almost like a cosmic peacemaker. Through constantly flowing unconditional love, you become a pacemaker for opening the sacred heart of humanity. And when all human hearts beat as one, that's the point when the sacred heart of humanity opens. So that was a very brief tour through the 12 signs. Remember to click the link below to download your free guide and learn more about soul astrology. And when you're ready to go deeper, have a look at my book, Soul Astrology, How Your Rising Sign Reveals Your Soul, Path and Life Purpose. That tells you a lot more about the soul purpose of each of the 12 signs. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you love soul astrology, remember to like and share and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.